song and welcome. So Eric, to kick us off, uh, let's talk about that amazing trailer that we just saw. Uh, Ramsey Rosso is a name that will be familiar to uh, the comic book nerds in the room, um, but for those who may not have heard of him and his villainous alter ego blood work, what do we need to know about him? Uh, Ramsey Rosso, uh, played by the wonderful Sandeel Ramamurthy, who's just in my hand. He is an acquaintance of the lovely Dr. Caitlin Snow. However, their old reunion goes very, very south, and when he joins Team Flash, he ends up going down the dark path to mad science. Well, how is season six as a whole different from the seasons that we've had? We're doing something really different this season. Uh, we're, we're lucky enough to have gotten to this season because of all of you, and I thank you. So, in doing so, we figured let's let's uh, kick it up a notch. In the past, we've had 22 episodes with one big bad. This year, we're doing 60 episodes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Maybe you are. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take those 22 episodes and we're going to have what I'm calling, and because I'm a comic book guy like a lot of people here, we're going to divide it up into two graphic novels. Graphic novel number one will be in the first half of the season, a self-contained story with Dr. Ramsey turning into blood work. We go to Crisis for an interlude, and then in the back half, a completely self-contained story. That's graphic novel number two. The monitor shows up at the end of our first episode and um, says, you know, the universe is in danger and the only way to save it is for Barry Allen to sacrifice himself. They can keep making the show now. No, guys, right? They could. No, no, no. <laughs> but would not want to. <laughs> Nor would I want you to. <laughs> How is Cisco adjusting to life without his powers? Swimmingly. Yeah. Yeah, he is loving it. Uh, at the start of season six, we find Cisco pretty much finding the normality that he was aching for in season five. And so now he's got this relationship with Camilla that he's working on, and then, you know, obviously the Star Labs thing or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, how does he fit into Star Labs now? What's the kind of team dynamic? You know, he's, he's, he's lending his human powers, not, you know, since he doesn't have as many human powers now, he's lending his, you know, his expertise in virtually all things. He's kind of an impossible character, actually. He's like a hacker, and he also likes souls, like, a, you know what I mean? Like, he can do anything. Um, so, pretty much more of that anything doing. Is huh? what he's gonna be doing. Candace, we saw Iris, yes. <laughs> Focusing her efforts and her kind of focus towards journalism last season. So how are we going to see that evolve this season? A lot more this season, which I'm really excited about. I feel like it's a, been a long time coming. Definitely. Yeah, six years is a long time. But Eric is really excited about it. I feel like he loves his character as much as I do. I think he wants to see it as much as I do. We're finally going to see the Iris West Allen that we know from the comics. Um, this ace reporter, she's building up the citizen. This season we're going to see her hire some new employees. It's going to be its own little contained set with its own storylines. Um, I'm really excited about it. I didn't want the show to ever end without us seeing the iconic Iris West that we know and love from the comic book. So I'm really eager to get, get into that. Love you! Woo! Well, tell us more about the citizen and some of his employees and people who will be kind of uh, surrounding her. Also, we know that Camilla kind of works for Iris. She's, yeah, so we'll see a lot more Camilla in the office. Disney's down the hall. We're neighbors. There's, yeah. There's going to be a lot of Team Flash popping by the office. Yeah, we're both kind of on different, dealing with it in different ways when we come back. We're kind of on our own islands, I think, dealing with it in our own way. And Barry is kind of doing what he always does and pushes it to the side, kind of tries to, no pun intended, bury it. And, <laughs> and, and um... <laughs> And it's just focusing on the good that he can do. First, I'm just saying, can you leave it? <laughs> yeah, I can. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Barry is trying to distract himself from what he can do to help. Um, sort of how he can help the team, how he can help the city. Very early on in the season, it picks up 
10, almost 10 seconds after you know, the finale of uh, last season. So it's still very fresh and raw, the grief that Barry and Iris are going through, and they're trying to move past it, but I think we see very early on in episode one that, you know, maybe they're not dealing with it in the best of ways, and that they come together and, and realize they really have to look at this and grieve as a team, as, like, as a couple, as a married couple. It's the only way they're going to get through it and move forward and, you know, get back to being flash. Okay. Um, so, Grant, obviously, you kind of gave a, a hint of it with the with the monitor coming and visiting yeah. Barry, but you know, dealing with a new villain, dealing with this impending crisis, um, how much is it weighing on him? Um, especially when he discovers, obviously, the newspaper date changed and he's still walking the finale. Yeah, it's weighing pretty heavily on him. Um, again, I think Iris is the person he kind of finds his strength in. Um, you know, she's pretty steadfast and like said, you know, we can do this, like we can we have to get through everything else, we can get through this. So I think that's kind of where he finds his strength and believing that like whatever the next step is, we'll be able to handle it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's tough hearing no matter what happens, you're supposed to vanish. I think that's hard for the both of them to swallow. Yeah. I hear that we're meeting a new world this year. Uh, what uh, can you uh, Not sure if we'll see him immediately, 
but he has, some point, he has a very near him. shadow. Right and nobody here. knows when that shadow is going to appear or not. That's accurate. We've got other stories to tell until the shadow returns. Yes. yes. No, they're not. Uh, as part of, and I guess it's uh, time to reveal it, as part of the Crisis on Infinite uh, Earths crossover, uh, no, the secrets of why Tom becomes Pariah are actually part of graphic novel number one, and all lead up to a very, very big twist at the end of the Blood War case that launches Crisis. I will. I'm very excited. Oh, 